Merci, Monsieur Paradis. Thank you, Mr. Paradis. Paul Ipon, Yasmin Ratansi, the Honourable Member for the Electoral District of Don Valley East, to address the House for not more than five minutes. Honourable colleagues, my name is Yasmin Ratansi, and I ask for the honour of being elected Speaker of the House of Commons. Allow me to explain why. I would like to pay a tribute to the member for Ottawa Vanier, who has been my friend and mentor. I am sorry that his health has not allowed him to stay in the race, because I believe he would have made an excellent speaker. for putting their names forward for the position of Speaker. This position is very closely linked to the history of the House of Commons, which dates back 600 years. The duty of the Speaker is to make sound decisions based on the rules of Parliament and standing orders without preference for political affiliation or popularity. I would balance the rights of the majority and the minority. I would be assertive and fair and ensure a more collegial environment, but at the same time, I would not take myself too seriously. <laughs> As the shortest of the candidates seeking to fill this role, I understand some of the challenges which lay ahead. <laughs> From my experience as Member of Parliament, I believe that it is absolutely critical for the Speaker to have a comprehensive knowledge of government spending and operations. This skill is the foundation of the efficient and effective governance of our Chamber. I bring my professional background and training as a chartered professional accountant. I also bring my previous experience as the Chair of the Standing Committee on Government Operations and Estimates and Vice Chair of the Procedure and House Affairs Committee. These committees are the building blocks of a well-run parliament. I have sat on a number of committees. Parliamentary committees have given me incomparable and important experience. I have acquired good knowledge of the government's accounts and how to hold the government accountable for its spending. I understand very well how the internal the Board of Internal Economy works. ...and defending the rights and privileges of members, including the rights to freedom of speech. I pledge to follow the Westminster model and return Parliament to a place of mutual respect and understanding. We must be an example to our constituents from coast to coast to coast that we value the diversity and pluralism which is the hallmark of Canada. The business of Canada is too important for us to slide into negative attacks, irrelevant answers, and hyper-partisanship. I will ensure the procedure is open and transparent for the House of Commons. It's extremely important for all Canadians who elected us in October that that be the case for some time know that I do not back away from debate or responsibility. In fact, throughout my professional life, I have walked on many roads less taken. For members who do not know me, I would like to say that I respect the rules and I will make fair decisions. I will maintain order and decorum. I cannot fail to mention that if elected, I would be only the second woman to serve as Speaker. In 1980, Jeanne Sauvé became Canada's first woman Speaker when Canada's Prime Minister was Pierre Elliott Trudeau. That was three decades ago. In 2015, if elected, I would be the second woman Speaker, this time serving under the current Prime Minister, the member for Papineau. Members. This is the only time that we vote in secret. The reason is to ensure that there is no outside influence. If I earn your support today as Speaker, 
you will have a person who understands the business of government and the principles of governance of this chamber. You will have someone who knows the rules of procedures and who will make fair and impartial decisions. Most importantly, you will have a speaker who values and respects diversity. After all, I speak seven languages and understand linguistic and cultural nuances. I know that all of us want a better future for Canada. On va le faire. We will do it together. Thank you.